Retail Graph is very flexible and offers various options which can be changed as per user requirements. To set the defaults of Retail Graph, go to Options category and then click on System Default option. Here you will be asked for a password which will be given to during the time of installation of the product. Once you enter the password, the window for system default will open up, where you will have multiple tabs like posting account and barcode, product info, retail G settings, rate and valuation, fonts and printers, payroll and caption master. You have the option for setting defaults for posting accounts and barcodes. For example you can set default accounts for cash group, bank group, cash in hand, check in hand, cash discount, customer posting, walk in customer credit note, opening balance difference. You also have options to set defaults for rate outward and inward, other adjustments sales and purchase. Interest paid, rebate received and allowed and interest paid. Barcode default settings can also be set from here. Give default print, save and cancel format. You can set the initial barcode for the products. To set defaults for product select the product info tab. Here you can set parameters like unique ID, barcode, alias, badge, color, virtual item and different rates available for products from the heading apply for a product you can also set default checks on the parameters selected if unique ID is checked on apply on product then you can the number of prompts for unique ID of a product for example in case of mobile phones you might have combination of three numbers and unique ID or in case of lunch boxes you might have only two numbers. So select accordingly. You can also define the starting number and width for the unique ID. You can select minimum margin and product category parameters for a product. Setting for default name to print and product alias can be given here. You can define alias by selecting keyword length of category, marketing, manufacturing group, product and brand to be included in alias. Set defaults for billing unit of the products. If you have more than two billing units then define the extra units in the extra units columns. But this can only be done when color master is not defined. You can also set locations for non-saleable, hold and transit stock product. Default settings for transaction can be set from the Retail G Settings tab. Here you set defaults for sales, sales invoice, promotion, cash discount calculations, refer by options and packing master. Other default settings like Caption Master, Bill by Bill Received. Unit definition, multi-column quantity, message box sound, display formats, round-off factor, discounts, excise type for purchase, home currency, date format, manufacturing and expiry, pending status of order, account and party name and counter management can be set, default message settings, reorder settings. Sale and purchase scheme settings and grid settings can also be set from here. Rate and valuation tag is available to define calculation schema of sales and purchase transactions in retail graph. Calculation methods for net purchase. MRT margin and discount can be set and edited from time to time. Defaults for valuation and tax rate can also be set from here.